Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today I wanted to make a video just basically telling you all about my septum piercing experience and also offering some tips that I learned along the way. So first off, just to give you a little overview, I have had this piercing in for about three months now. It's fully healed. I personally have just kept in the same jewelry that I got it pierced with, um, if that makes sense. Basically, I haven't changed my jewelry at all just because I'm being really lazy. It's pretty much the only reason. But my septum is pierced at a 16 gauge, which hopefully you can see. That's pretty much the standard piercing size. Unless you're trying to stretch your septum or you know, basically any other piercing, they pierce you at a 16 gauge. A 16 gauge is one size up from a typical ear gun. When you get your ears pierced with a gun, that's an 18 or a 20 gauge, depending on who does it. So just letting you know kind of size relative to a normal ear piercing. It's not that much bigger. So to go ahead and just jump into the meat of my experience, I wanted to get this piercing done for a long time, which I definitely recommend. I wouldn't say that you're just like, oh, I want to get my septum done today. I would definitely think about it. So like I said, I thought about it for a while and about a month and one day I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to go get it. I asked one of my good guy friends if he would come with me and we went to a piercing shop. Now I personally knew another girl who had gotten her piercing done by the same woman who pierced my septum later and I asked her where she went and everything and she got me a really good recommendation so that's why I went there. So if you know someone that has their septum pierced uh, by that particular piercer or you know you can go online and look up a piercer or like a tattoo and piercing parlor, it just kind of helps to do your research to make sure that you're going to a clean place and a professional place and someone who kind of knows what they're doing. So I would definitely recommend just doing a little bit of research or getting a referral from a friend. On to the actual experience, when I went into the shop they were really nice to me, you know I explained kind of what I wanted and the woman who did my piercing was really really nice she's really professional she kind of felt around in my nose for a little while just to kind of get a feel of my nose which is really good because it's kind of like a delicate piercing you know and you definitely want them to make sure that it's straight and even and everything like that the woman who actually pierced my nose told me that I had no sweet spot and she was gonna have to pierce it through my cartilage which is what my piercing is it's through my nose cartilage and if you guys don't know what a sweet spot is that is generally what most septum piercings are pierced through it's just kind of like a fleshy part of your nose that's not as thick so it's easier for the piercer to kind of push the needle through and you can tell is if you get like your pinkies or any finger I guess and just kind of feel into your nose you'll feel kind of like a squishy soft spot and that's called your sweet spot that's where the piercer is going to want to pierce now not everyone has them and I particularly did not have one I think mine was like really small so she couldn't do it through the sweet spot she told me she was going to have to do it through the cartilage so I was kind of nervous um, especially because I was like oh crap it's going to hurt more but she was really good she was like don't chicken out you've already paid for it you know you want to get it done I was like you're right just do it so she took clamps and I think some piercers do this some piercers don't in my case she did she takes clamps and they kind of have a little I guess channel right here she'll clamp them here and then she pushes the needle through the clamp they push the needle through your nose that's how it's actually pierced and then they thread the jewelry after the needle and kind of twist it around and then that's how your septum has the jewelry in it so on a pain tolerance I don't have a huge pain tolerance but I'm okay with pain um, I knew that it was gonna hurt but I was really like amped up on adrenaline and everything and I really wanted to get it done. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, my piercing was a 3 or a 4. It was not pain free, but it wasn't very bad. It just kind of was like, ouch, and then she's done. And your nose does swell up a lot after that, but there really isn't that much um, pain. Just make sure not to kind of bump it or when you're taking your shirt off, not to get it caught on anything. That would just be my advice to you. On the aftercare, I had H2 Ocean Spray, which is what most piercers recommend with any piercing to clean your piercing with. How many times can I say piercing? Um, I would just get a Q-tip kind of, I think twice a day, um, maybe three times a day for the first week or two. And you just take a Q-tip and kind of rub around in there and kind of cleans the piercing. Sometimes you'll see like little scabs or things come out on the Q-tip, which is okay. If you do notice some scabbing, you don't want to like rub in there and get rid of it because it's kind of your body's way of healing the wound. Your piercer will give you a guide to cleaning any piercing if they're a good piercer and if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask them because they are kind of the ones that are experienced in that trade and they'll definitely give you advice and things like that. Like I was saying my aftercare experience basically all I did was use H2 Ocean twice a day, get on a little q-tip and go like that and clean my nose. I'm pretty sure that's all of my aftercare experience. It really was not that difficult to keep this piercing clean 
and there is no chance of rejection with a septum piercing because it's not on your surface, it's not a surface piercing. It's just in your nose, so your body really can't push it out at all. It's really important to keep your piercing clean and sanitized just to make sure that your body heals correctly. Another tip is when you're actually going to the piercing parlor or wherever you're getting it done, make sure to drink some water and just eat a little bit because some people do get really faint. Um, in my case, I bled a lot and I'm not squeamish with blood or needles or anything like that, but I know some people are, so it's always good to stay hydrated so that you don't faint or pass out or get really like dizzy or anything. You no, know, that's just kind of general. With any piercing or tattoo, you just want to make sure that you're hydrated and well nourished so that your body doesn't do anything crazy on you. One more tip, I would just prepare some people to not really like your piercing. Uh, my parents don't like it. I'm 20 years old, so I can you know do what I want. They don't really like it, but I think they've gotten more used to it, so it's not really a big deal in my house, but some people will give you kind of flack for it. But as long as it's a piercing that you really wanted and you wanted to do it for yourself, then you know obviously that won't bother you. People don't like it on me, I'm just like, honestly, I really don't care because it's my body and I like it, so that's all that matters. The final thing I want to say is that this piercing is really easy to hide. I don't think any of my coworkers really know that I have it done besides the people that I've told because every day before I go to work, I just flip it up like this and just kind of push it up into this part of my nose, if that makes sense, and you really can't even see it. Um, throughout the day, if you can see right there, it kind of falls down like that but I just kind of push it back up and you can't really see it. Well, that was pretty much it guys. I think that I covered everything. Uh, just to kind of give you a little overview. It did hurt, but I think that it was definitely worth it. The healing process is pretty easy. Just make sure to use a sea salt spray or something similar that your piercer tells you to use. Um, I use H2Ocean and my piercing was totally fine. Just make sure if you're under 18 to have your parents' permission or don't get this piercing. That really scares me. Uh, people going to kind of sketchy piercers. Just really like this piercing. I think for certain people, it really adds a lot to your face. It's kind of like a cool piercing. I'm really, really glad that I did it. I think the healing time was great and I love it. If you're on the fence about it, I would just say do it. If you know you have at least one friend that's like, I'll come with you, you know, it's awesome to have a friend there with you but even if you can't just go by yourself it's like a five minute process they just put it through and you're done I definitely recommend it to anyone who is on the fence or you know kind of wants to do it I would just say go for it you only live once to be kind of cliche and I think it's just an awesome piercing so I would definitely recommend it I think that's it actually um, if you guys have any comments or questions leave them down below in the comment section I will answer you promptly if you like this video please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up I would really really appreciate it and it would show that you guys did like the video and found it helpful as always I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you in my next video Video. Bye!